and much like what we are seeing here in Nueces County, health officials in San Patricio say they are experiencing a surge in positive COVID-19 cases in their area. Now their focus is on how they can get more of their area vaccinated after noticing vaccine hesitancy. Our Alexis Green looked into that for us and has this report. The lack of crowds and scarce attendance like you see here today at a mass vaccination clinic held in San Patricio County is what officials tell me is becoming the new norm. We are basically like Nueces County. We are exploding with COVID at the present time. Dr. James Mobley, who serves as the medical director for San Patricio County's health department, says their county is currently 57% vaccinated at this time. But they want to see that percentage go up as COVID-19 continues to spread in their area. We've got a very high number, probably 40% of the, of the county still is not immunized, and that's where our target is. According to Dr. Mobley, the majority of those he is treating in his office are unvaccinated. And with schools opening back up, they plan to hold vaccine clinics at the junior and high schools for those eligible. That's one of our targets we want to get. Also, we're bringing in state teams to see if they can go in industry. And, and industrial workers are, are another one of our targets that may not have had time or inclination to get those shots. And we really want to get those involved. San Patricio County Judge David Krebs says people just aren't taking advantage of the current clinics that are available. I mean, our largest percentage of vaccination is Gregory and Ed Roy, and that's only 50% vaccinated. Towns like Sinton, Aranza Pass, Ingleside, Portland, you know, some of them are in the 30s. I mean, if people wonder why this stuff is spreading, it's because the people need them vaccination shots. Judge Krebs says to be on the lookout and be sure to follow their pages as they will announce upcoming vaccination sites as well as COVID testing opportunities. Lexis Green, 3 News.